Hello viewers, how are you? Uh, Narita is here again. Today we are continuing with our decision support system. The other time we managed to do this side. We managed to do the date written. So let me just go back. Um, we wrote a formula at this side such that if I type 1, the date written will be taken from the type here, which is 12 January. So they wrote the task at 12 January. So you see that it has appeared here. Assuming the tax is written on, let's say, 15th January. See that it's automatically changed. Now, if I type 2 here, it will automatically appear here as 29 January. Where is it gotten from? It's gotten from the type here. Assuming they wrote the test on 21st January. You see that it's automatically also is changed here. Then if I type 3, it will change to 1st February. And it's taken from here, the type. Assuming the tax is written on 4th February. You see that on the analysis, it will automatically change. What we are going to do today is max the max out from what I mean the total max and I'm going to take it from this side so here is going to be what the total max I'm taking it from here so that if I type 1 it must take this max 50 if I type 2 here it must take this max 60 if I type 3 it must take this max 70. How am I going to do it? In Excel, anytime you are starting an Excel formula, you must start with what? Equal. I know by now you know it. And we are using the if statement here. So if this cell is equals to 3, print. Let's start with 1. If that cell is equal to 1, print. That it means if that cell is tax one, we must print the max of tax one. So print this cell which is 50, otherwise, print empty. If it is not one, don't print anything. That's the meaning. So you see that here, the type tax number or the tax number is three. See that it is empty. If I type 1, it's going to print 50 here. Now, if I type 2, it will still be empty because the formula says if it is 1, print whatever you have here. Apart from 1, don't print anything. So we are going to improve upon the formula. So if it is 2, what is it supposed to print? If the side is equals to two, print this one. Otherwise, print everything. Now, if it is three, so if it is one, it's going to print this fifty. If it is two, it has printed this 60. What if it is three? Empty because the formula, I did not define it. I did not give a formula for three. So if it is three, what is it supposed to print? If it is three, 
if this side is 3, it should be equal to this one. Otherwise, print everything you have in the bracket. So if it is 3, if it is 3, print what we have there. Let me start. If this side is 3, I did not bring the 3. That is why it's giving us false there. If it is 3, you must print this one. So you see that if it is 3, it has printed what? 70. So now if it is 1, we have 50. If it is 2, we have 60. If it is 3, we have 70. And it corresponds with this 50, 60, 70. Okay, you can do more up to 4th or 5th tax, whatever tax. So this demonstration is dealing with up to 3 tax. Okay, let's look at the duration, the time, or the number of hours that is supposed to be used to write the task. The number of hours. So let's check here the number of hours that is supposed to be used. So I'm going to insert another cell here. So insert. And here I'm going to write duration. And my duration, what is it going to be here? Is going to be, let's say here they must use the assignment, they must use two hours. The text, one hour, and the investigation, three hours. Okay, so we we are writing the same formula, similar formula there. So I said anytime you are starting an Excel formula, what do you do? You start with equal. So if this cell is equals to one, print this, otherwise print empty, you close the bracket. So you see that if it is one, it will print whatever you have there, but here you have three. So it's not printing anything because the formula says if it is one print if it is not one don't print anything so if it is one it has printed two hours where do we have the two hours this one the first task task one so if it is two we have not defined it so it's going to print empty so we are going to define it what we are going to define what is supposed to print if it is two so if it is two, if the side is two, what is this supposed to do? It should print this cell. Otherwise, print everything there. So if it is two, see that it has printed what? One hour here. Then if it is three, If this one is equal to 3, it should print this one. Otherwise, print everything that we have there. So if it is 3, you have that. So then let's look at the year. 
Now the year we know the year is we can put the year anywhere. We can put the year here. So here which year are we dealing with? Twenty twenty three. So, as for the year, I'm going to take it directly from because we are dealing with that year alone. So, if I must write my equal, so equal if. Equal if this is equals to empty, print empty, otherwise, print what we have there. So, assuming the year is empty, we don't know, it's going to print empty for the year. All right. Whether I change it, it will still print what empty because that is how I've defined it. The rest will change, but this one will remain. So I've defined it that way. So if it is 2023, we have 2023 there. Let me make it a little, let me make it beautiful. So I'm going to use the color here. And I will use that color so that we have one color. Okay. I want to cut and paste it here. Nothing has changed. It will not affect the formula here. Okay. Let's consider term one. Let's consider this side also. Um, I think we are going to do that this side uh, in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.